All right, everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you a very quick video. I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible. But with Scorched Earth here, I've noticed that the frame rates are actually a little bad, especially in certain areas. Um, when I was playing the island, I did find quite a few codes that were actually working very, very well. And a lot of them are actually different than the ones I posted way, way earlier on in the playthrough. Um, so I'm going to take a minute. I'm going to show you guys what the codes are, as well as a visual example right here behind me. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to keep it as short as I can for you guys. So, first off, we are going to bring up our admin command. And the first one we are going to be putting in is sg.posrprocessquality6. So, basically, post-processing quality 6. Um, this one here is going to actually help build with the other ones. You'll see once we actually get all the codes in how it actually looks. So we're going to come in here again. The next one we're going to be putting in is sg.resolutionquality100. This basically jacks it up to actually looking like it should, at least in my opinion, on a revamped edition. Um, a lot less pastel looking creatures and a little bit more detail to them, I guess. I, I, I don't really know how to explain that too well. But uh, next one we're going to do here is r.volumetricfog0. This one here eliminates the fog. I don't really know if it's too much of an issue here on Scorched Earth. Um, I just kind of put all these in as one big code, technically, and uh, it, it's just worked really well for me. Um, the fog basically just removes all the fog off of the map from underwater, stuff like that, and uh, just makes it easier to see. It probably would help in caves. Um, I haven't really explored the caves yet, so I'm not too sure. The next one we're going to look at is r.volumetriccloud0. This one here turns off all your clouds. And as you can see, it still leaves some of the nice clouds in the background. It doesn't leave just a plain, empty-looking sky. However, it does remove a lot of the ones that are moving around and stealing your frame rates on you. So, I like to turn that off, and it still looks really nice. It's not like we don't have clouds in the sky. It doesn't look weird. Uh, it just makes it so the game runs a little bit smoother. Now, the last one we're going to be putting in here is r.vsync1. Unfortunately, for some reason... We do not have VSync on console, and uh, we should. We really should, because most games do, and most systems can handle it. But anyways, so what you want to do is put r.vsync1. This here will unlock VSync. If you don't know what that is, if you noticed before, we were getting kind of like a screen tear. So when I move really quickly across the screen, there would be like a line going across the screen. Now that we have that put in, the line is gone. We don't have any screen tearing. And that is what I use that VSync for. I don't know, it might have other purposes as well, but the main purpose I use it for is for my recordings. I don't have a whole bunch of tore up shit all over the screen and just looks terrible. Um, so these are the commands I use. I'm trying to keep this as short as I can. We're at three minutes now, so I'm just gonna show you a quick little visual example here of the dinos, and uh, we're gonna end this video here. So we're going to uh, photo mode here, and as you can see, the dinos look absolutely incredible once you put this stuff in. Um, of course the sun's not really cooperating right now, but if you have been playing on console, you know how shitty the graphics really look, even though if you're like me, you're running on an Xbox Series X and it should actually look fairly nice. I mean, a lot of the other games I play look incredible. Anyways, so with these commands here, they will actually unlock the ability for the game to run very, very smoothly. So now we are not going to have screen tearing. We're not going to have frame rate drops like crazy when we go into another area here. I have been having no issues using these co uh, codes for a while now. I was using them on the island, which, as most of you know, the island is horrible for frame rates, especially near the Redwoods. So I think these really, really help. Hopefully they will help one of you guys. If they did, make sure to smash that like button. Really, really helps out. Hit that sub button if you learned something new or if you enjoyed the content. And until next time, keep being kind to one another, keep being kind to yourselves, and I'll see each one of you guys here real, real soon.